Hey guys, today I'm going to bring a brand new video. And for today's video, this is more than a video. But of because I'm with more than insurance. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you my review of my Black Fox insurance for the past year I've had it. Would I recommend it? What has it been like? I have actually been with my insurance one year today. So yeah, I'm going to give you guys that review. Honestly, I'm going to be telling you guys about the pain of when a car literally 10 miles away sees you. They just overtake straight away. Like there's not even no... They know my car now. They just know to overtake it. Mate, in my fucking time, I've, I've had lorries overtaking me. So without further ado, let's get into this review. Of All right, so I'm currently reversing into a thing, but let's start with, wait, let's go back a bit more. With what has it been like for the past year of having this black box? Because um, that's, Probably the main question. So I've had this black box now for literally a year tomorrow. So at the time of filming this, this is the 17th. Um, tomorrow is the 18th when my insurance renews. And I am going to be telling you guys at the end of this video if I'm going to be staying with a black box or going on with a different company or getting rid of the black box completely. For the past year having this insurance, I actually think it's been decent. Like it saved me like, so overall it saved me like 700 pound. Um, for the first year, it, tr it keeps you kind of safe. I think, honestly, the one thing that was really good about my insurance, which is, which is more than, is they give you rewards. So every quarter, they'd give you money back if you drove safely. So, so here on my more than app, if we click rewards, we have got £14 back. And I get this little card for it. So... We have a little uh, more than card. The rewards go up every single quarter. So I could have got like 20 or like some people I've seen have got like 32 pounds back. But it has to be like plus 10 um, to get that top, top one. For the first part of the year, that's when I first like proper cared about my black box. I cared about getting all the scores perfect, everything. And then obviously once they give you a bad score for like no reason, you get kind of like, what the fuck? Uh, on the second half of the year, I literally do not give a fuck about my black box. Like, I do not look at my scores ever. I think because I'm the type of person to not speed or anything, it's a good insurance thing for me because I don't speed. Um, and because I don't speed, I get rewards back. I'd say the negative is my black box broke like fucking three times when I had it. So over the past year, it's broke three times. And every single time I've had to get somebody to come out and basically fix it at my own fucking time. Another thing that was annoying for the past year that I've had it is the usage. You can't go past 11 or you get literally the worst score you can get. You can get minus 10. It would be all right if you could get the score back easily, but you can't. It takes so long to get your score back up to 10. So the black box is split into three different sections. Speed smoothness and usage and all of these motherfuckers need to be shot so speed is obviously your speed basically in the location that you are smoothness is how hard you're braking how hard you're accelerating um how hard you're turning i think how hard you sneeze in the car like honestly you sneeze and you get minus 10 usage is the kind of time you go out um so it, that includes rush hour that includes how late you're going out how early you're going out so what is more than or the black box kind of thing like with your speed, speed, smoothness, and usage. Uh, like I said about usage, that can go fuck itself because like it's literally a disease how early they want you in. My Asian mum don't even want me in that early. For speed, I think they are a lot stricter when you first start with their policy. Now I can go about 55 max on a 50. On my on all of my journeys, you can see that they're all plus 10. This one's seven. So let's firstly look at my speed, right? So at the moment, my speed is eight, frowning face. Now I can admit, like, I think for one of these journeys, I'm not gonna say how fast I was going. It wasn't crazy fast, but it was keeping up with traffic, let me say. And this is the first time I've ever kept up with traffic um, out of all of my journeys. As you guys can see, I'm plus 10 on all of them. I'm that goody two shoes in school. Smoothness is always literally plus 10. Once you get into town, that's when it starts to get a little bit um, annoying on smoothness. If you, towns are where, towns and like cities are where it's like a bit iffy with you, you know? 
because obviously you're braking harder, you're stopping and starting. So that's when you get minus points. And yeah, usage only really kind of gives you minus points if you drive in, drive past 11 for me. The only reason why points are valuable is purely just the rewards back and your discount at the end of the year that you get. Would I recommend having a black box on my experience for the past year? I would say a boom, boom, bing. Uh, once this windows goes down, I'll say. Yes. 100% recommend having a black box for the first kind of years of driving maybe. I would say if it's your like first year of driving, let's say, and you are getting quotes for like 1.7 grand. Who the fuck wants to spend like 1.7 grand? And if you got a black box, it'd be like 900 pound. Then I would say yes. If you're saving a lot of money, go for the black box. If you like going fast, you know, enjoying your car, don't get a black box. I'm pretty sure like one of my friends got warnings on his black box insurance for going too fast. And if you get three of them, I think you can your insurance is cancelled. So the next thing is, am I staying with the black box company? Or am I staying with a black box? And um, I can honestly say with, for you guys, I am, du, 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 drum roll please. I am not, I am not leaving my black box. I'm actually staying with more than, more than smart wheels, you know, and I'm staying with the black box because my insurance was 960 pounds this year for more than um, black box. And next year it has gone down to 740 pounds, which would actually be like 600 pounds if I paid it all up front. A black box at this new insurance year would be like 800, 840 pounds. So I literally saved a hundred pounds on staying with the black box. And some people might be like, what? Why would you stay with the black box? Like the thing is, I don't give a fuck about it. It don't, it don't like, it's not affecting me as much as like it affects some people, you know? So yeah, I'm actually staying with more than, uh, more than smart wheels. Saved me a hundred pound. I'm actually dying of sweat in here. This is disgusting. So yeah, I saved about a hundred pound on my insurance. Um, another year with uh, Black Box. Stay out my way, motherfuckers. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've got if you've got to the end of this video, then comment insurance, and I'll subscribe to your channel. The first three people. Uh, I'll go if you've got your insurance. Tell me how much it is. Tell me how much um, your quotes are or something. Literally, just tell me anything about insurance and um, I'll be sure to read them. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. It is too fucking hot in this car. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see the faces in my next video. What? So. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive.